Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today, we're joined by Ken Tapp, CEO of Social Life Network, a cloud-based social media and social network technology company based in Denver, Colorado, the trades under ticker WDLF. Good afternoon, Ken. Thanks for being on the show. Hi, thanks. Thanks for having me. So tell us about Social Life Network and what you guys do. Sure. Uh, well, Social Life Network is uh, just what it sounds. It's a social network company. Uh, in fact, we build social networks, niche industry social networks, uh, identifying industries that we feel that uh, technology has passed over. And uh, started the company uh, nearly six years ago, uh, January of 2013. Uh, we have seven social networks built to date, uh, international networks. And I came up with a concept uh, in 2011 after leaving the, the last company I had sold uh, and really wanted to target uh, industries that we felt LinkedIn and Facebook uh, just were not designed well for. And what are some of your most successful social network sites to date? So early uh, 2013, we launched our first social network, which of course is the, uh, the oldest. That was weedlife.com. It's a cannabis social network. Uh, we launched it originally just for the United States, and after a couple of years, it grew internationally to be accessed by about 120 countries. Uh, since then, we launched a sister site to that, mjlink.com, which is really a business-to-business -business social network, more of a LinkedIn for that industry. Uh, and then uh, launched in the real estate industry, uh, like RE, and then later Hunt Post in the hunting and fishing industry, and uh, Racket Star in the racket sport industry, and we have two more in beta right now uh, for cycling and for golf. So Ken, a lot of changes going on in this space right now. How has Social Life Network uh, evolved in the past 12 months and what direction do you see the company taking in the near future? Sure, yeah, we've really had some wind at our back unintentionally given uh, you know the Facebook uh, uh, issues and, and Twitter, et cetera, around politics, uh, politics and, and, and so on and so forth. So. What uh, we have done over the last year is just stayed the course. We continue to build better technology. Uh, that technology is uh, integrated into each of the individual industries that we are in. And, uh, you know, the, the concept here that I took from my last company is if you can integrate with other companies and associations, uh, you're stickier and you last a lot longer. And so we've stayed that course and we've launched uh, now in beta an e-commerce platform built into our social network. We're launching that in the hunting and fishing industry first. And we're pretty excited about that. Well, so that kind of leads into my next question for, for most of these sites, what's your monetization model or how do you monetize these sites? Sure, well, to date it has been around advertising and digital subscriptions, uh, very similar to LinkedIn. A digital subscription uh, could be something that helps employers find employees or uh, businesses find better leads uh, and then uh, cultivate those leads. And uh, now that we've got the e-commerce coming online, we'll be taking 10 to 30% of the sale of products in our hunting and fishing network uh, for starters. And we feel like that's an enormous industry. We've targeted about $50 million worth of products and services that are now being onboarded into that network. But that's a huge international industry of about $1.4 trillion of retail goods that are spent uh, on each year, and only about 18% of that so far is being spent online. So we believe we're way up, well ahead of the curve and uh, we target companies like Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops as our competitors. Well, and you, so you recently announced um, you incorporated mjlink.com as a wholly owned subsidiary. Tell us more about what they do and how they fit into your future plans. Sure, right. So, you know, if you look at Social Life Network having multiple niche industry social networks, it uh, it does make sense for us to reach a mature point with a network or two and then spin those off uh, into their own public companies if it makes sense, wholly owned subsidiaries of, of Social Life Network. And that's exactly what we decided to do with uh, MJ Link. That is a, a dual social network company. Uh, it's mjlink.com, which is our business to business social network, and weedlife.com, which is really more of a consumer to consumer social network. Those two networks combined do about 40 million page views per month. And uh, we want to advertise or get advertisers, I should say, into that network and start to really monetize that network. And of course, uh, with what's happening in Canada, it made a lot of sense for us to spin that out with intentions of going public on either the CSE or the TSX. 
Uh, and so this is uh, the process we're in right now, and we believe that will have huge uh, upside to our shareholder value. And I'm going to go back to this. We kind of alluded to it earlier with, with some of the major social networking sites getting a lot of flack in the news over privacy issues and really losing a lot of user trust. Do you see a trend developing where people will start gravitating to smaller niche interest sites like the ones you build that take privacy more seriously? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it has all kind of come to a head this last year. But, you know, this was a concept that I started to do an awful lot of research on six, seven years ago. And uh, companies like, uh, or I should say, VC firms like Sequoia and Kleiner Perkins were, were already starting to focus on niche social networking back then. Since then, they've, they've invested a couple billion dollars into private companies that are focused on niche industries. And so uh, it made a lot of sense for us to go that direction six years ago when we, we looked to start the company. And of course, now it's, like I said earlier, the wind is at our back, given all the, uh, the public news about privacy and uh, and, and uh, you know, things that all of the white noise that can get generated on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and, and negativity, et cetera. You know, these audiences are really yearning for uh, special uh, walled garden networks. And, and we've got just that for them. And it's really taken off for us. And it seems like a natural evolution. I mean, in the beginning, when people first came online, you had AOL, which is kind of this dumbed down version of a web browser where people could kind of get on and chat and shop. And then social networks came out and naturally everyone kind of uh, gravitated to one or two primary generic ones. There was uh, MySpace, then Facebook, obviously. And it seems like it's matured enough where people are comfortable with the technology, yet finding less and less utility from these big generic sites. So I, I can understand, and it seems like a natural evolution anyway, for users to start getting more of their time uh, involved in, in some of these niche sites where they can, you know, get product reviews for, you know, from people in their peer group that they they trust as uh, peer experts like your hunting and fishing sites or, or like some of these other cannabis sites that are geared towards, you know, uh, networking with professionals in specific industries. So it seems like six or seven years ago, you may have been a little ahead of your time, but it seems like right now, um, you know, the the environment for social networking in general, it would be perfect for, for your model. So yeah. Excited. Well, that's all the questions we had for today, Ken. And anything else you want to add before we close? Well, of course, we think that our uh, company is is uh, undervalued right now. The stock is is trading around 14, 15 cents, I think, today. And so we're excited about uh, the future, where that stock can go. We'd like people to take a position in it. Well, Ken, thanks again for being on the show. We're going to start our coverage here on CEO Live. So we'll be following the company closely for, for the next several months. So we hope to catch up with you again soon. Thanks, Mike. Have a great day. You as well. Take care, Ken. Right. You've been watching CEO Live TV, and we've been talking again to Mr. Ken Tapp. He's the CEO of Social Life Network, a cloud-based social media and social network technology company based in Denver, Colorado, that trades under ticker WDLF. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.social-life-network.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.